Welcome to a new episode of South Sound Business Report. Today featuring 40 under 40. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Jeff Rounds. Thanks for being with us and thank you to Puget Sound Energy for its continuing support of this program. About a decade ago, the Business Examiner created a recognition event called 40 Under 40. You can imagine that that involves selecting 40 outstanding younger women and men who are achieving great things in their work, in their professions, and in our community. Today's episode features quick video segments of as many of the 40 as we could round up. We'll show you their name, what they do, and let them answer questions that you might have about them. Some 400 persons gathered at Tacoma's Foss Waterway Seaport Museum to celebrate 40 Under 40, in festivities that brought the honorees together with co-workers, family, and friends, as well as a large number of past recipients and more community members. And each honoree was introduced to the crowd as their story was told. My mentor is Brianne Campbell. She's now my partner, but she hired me as an associate attorney a couple of years ago, and she has been an amazing influence on me because she's taught me how to be an amazing lawyer, um, mix intelligence with compassion for clients, and I keep learning from her every day, so I'm very thankful for her. I'm most passionate about making sure that young people are prepared for retirement and doing everything they can now to make sure that they're on the right track. working with children and families. I've worked with kids since I was a kid myself. I started with swimming lessons and worked my way up through working at daycare centers and then working in the school district. Um, I also am an attorney, so I worked with children and families that way. And now I'm back in the Tacoma Public Schools working in the Highly Capable program. And I'm working closely with a lot of kids who um, need a, a non-traditional way of learning. And so that's been a lot of fun. And then also, uh, I'm a recent foster parent, and we're in the process of adopting a foster child who is a really amazing and a highly capable child. And I'm really excited about helping a kid out who really had a hard time in life and, and now is, is able to, to function at a high level, and, and it's really exciting. What I wish I had known now that I uh, could have used earlier is to just uh, believe in myself, is to be myself. Um, I think so often that uh, we lose sight on who we are in this world. Um, and uh, if I had started off my entire career with just a little bit more faith in uh, who I am and what I believe in, I think I could have been a little bit more successful later, uh, earlier on. Now I'm just very proud of uh, everything I've achieved and uh, everything I'm working towards. <laughs> I'm passionate about improving the community for everybody.
the opportunity to create jobs for other people, the employees and our staff, uh, so that they can feed their families is easily the thing I'm most proud of in my life. I'm so proud to be able to contribute something to the community that makes it so that other people can take care of their families. Uh, there simply couldn't be something I'm more proud of. I think if there was something that I wish I knew before that I know now, it's that I have what it takes to work for myself and to run my own business. I think um, it's one of the things that I want to tell all my friends uh, is that you can do it and if you have something that you're passionate about and the type of work that you love to do, you can do it on your own. I'm most passionate about these three things. First is my family. They're my best friend, which is my wife Jenny, and my kids, they're the loves of my life. The second thing is Puget Sound, making sure that we protect it and restore it and keep it healthy for generations to come. And the third thing is the city that I'm the mayor of, the city of DuPont. It's the best place to live, work, and play. What people would be most surprised to learn about me is that I own a full outfit of a Han Solo costume. That's right, Han Solo. And he shoots first every time. Bought it about a, about a year ago for Comic-Con, went to Comic-Con, enjoyed that, dressed up, just got to get into it and throw yourself into it. So I, I went ahead and bought the costume and, and off I went and it was a blast. What am I passionate about? I'm passionate about providing educational opportunities to higher education, especially public higher ed, to the youth of Tacoma, and making sure they have access to qualify for their career aspirations. So the thing that I'm most passionate about is getting the youth into college and making sure they're successful for the long term. I would have known earlier in my career is that patience is key and good things come to those who wait. That would have been a wonderful lesson to learn very early on and probably made my life a lot easier. <laughs> We'll return in a moment to share more from our 40 Under 40 event tonight. But first, a message from our sponsor, Puget Sound Energy. For more than 12 years, Providence St. Peter Hospital has been partnering with PSE's Energy Efficiency Program. As a result, in the past year, we've been able to save over $700,000 on our utility bill. What PSE is doing by investing in renewable energy and wind farms is really an investment in the future. We're in the community and on call for our customers day or night. PSE is working hard to provide me and my family with dependable service. The Olympia Farmer's Market. You can just taste the excitement. The best seafood, the freshest produce, organic meats and savory cheeses, the most delicious baked breads, the prettiest plants and flowers, and the finest handcrafted gifts from all over the South Sound. Listen to the great sounds at the covered Farmer's Market stage and picnic area. Meet old friends and enjoy the festive atmosphere you can only find at the Olympia Farmer's Market. Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 3, the Olympia Farmer's Market at the foot of Capitol Way in downtown Olympia. South Sound Business Report today is sharing the remarkable stories of 40 fascinating young leaders in our community who were recently honored by the Business Examiner. Harborstone Credit Union is the primary sponsor of 40 Under 40. And this is Jeff Ivey, who specializes in SBA and business lending. 
Well, investing in the younger people, that, especially that are business leaders in our communities, is important for our overall economic you know, recovery and growth in this area. And Harborstone believes in doing all we can to help our communities out, help our members out, and investing in especially young business leaders is a great way to do that. Now let's get back to meeting the 40 under 40. What did I wish I had learned earlier on? And I think my answer is I wish I had learned earlier on that there is a substitute for experience. I'm most passionate about my family. I have a wonderful wife and three amazing kids, and I work every day just so, uh, so I can be with them and, and enjoy a wonderful life with them. I'm most proud of being a big sister. I was blessed about nine years ago with a little sister and she has brought so much more into my life than I could have ever imagined and it's just been truly a pleasure to watch her grow up into the beautiful young lady that she is today. My mentor was Patrick O'Neill. He was a professor at the University of Puget Sound and he got me started working with Congressman Smith and also Congressman Dix as a sophomore up at the university. I've been so fortunate that throughout my career I've had a host of mentors that really taught me everything from reading a balance sheet when I joined a board of directors to really giving me the philosophies that have driven my career and that's being involved, being a contributing member to both the business that I'm involved in and the community that I'm part of. I think people will be most surprised to learn about me that um, I was once a ball girl for the Seattle Mariners and the reason why I say this is because I am the most unathletic person in the world but when you set your mind to something and you create a goal and you accomplish it you can do anything. So I'm most passionate about coming up with big grandiose ideas and seeing them come to reality uh, in the form of a cornfield. So it's cool to work on a project around financial literacy, uh, fire safety, those kinds of things, and then see it come to reality in the form of a cornfield uh, through a cool design. I'm most passionate about the city of Tacoma, the city that I lived in and grew up in. I think we have lots to offer and I want everyone to know about it. We'll be back to sharing more of the 40 under 40 stories in a moment, but first I'd like to introduce you to Andrew Barkas, himself an alumni of this program in 2004. Recognition you know, is so important because it, it allows somebody to feel that what they're doing is important. I mean, it, it, uh, they work so hard throughout their lives, uh, in this case their early lives, their early development, their careers and such, you know, getting to a certain point. Um, and especially when they finish school, they're now into maybe their first or second job and they're starting to branch out into what they want to do, they're starting to branch out into leadership and service. And then for somebody to say, you know, hey, Mary, you're doing a great job, and to recognize that. So I think you've really captured something with the Business Examiner 40 Under 40 program. Um, I know for me, back 
2004, it was a huge thing, and it um, it was just the beginning of me getting involved in my community, and that recognition really boosted, you know, what it was that I was doing. And I can see in talking to a lot of the honorees tonight that they have that same gleam in their eye, that they've been recognized for something that they've done and that they are doing, and will probably continue that on. Um, the other thing that was kind of interesting is talking to somebody who had been recognized, several that have been recognized in years previous, last year for example, and they're returning now and I said, you know, what are you doing now? And they're like, oh, well, it's the next level. They're going to that next level. And so, you know, recognition is very important. It's just like, you know, uh, telling your child that comes home with a, with a good grade, you did a great job and, and, and acknowledging that. They're going to come back again and keep doing that. I mean, that's that's kind of the pattern that you hope to achieve. So, let's get back to the stars of today's program: the next generation of leaders for our South Sound business communities, the 40 under 40. What I'm most passionate about is really problem solving. One of the things that we did this year, which was one of our most exciting issues, was our, what we called our door to dock time. Or the time from when you arrive in the emergency department to when you're seen by a physician. I'm proud to say that when I started three years ago, we were at about 90 minutes. And over the last three years, we've been able to bring that down to about 15, which is remarkable. Really uh, record setting in our area and ahead of the curve. And that's one of the most reasons I'm most passionate and proud about working at St. Joseph's Medical Center. I'm also passionate though about solving the larger problems, about getting beyond the individual patient and getting beyond the individual system and looking at the greater societal issues. Over the last year I've worked with the legislature to craft an alternative plan uh, that includes a number of issues uh, that I'm proud to say was adopted this last year and is really revolutionizing the way we deliver emergency care in the state of Washington, from integrating our health care records to working on uh, narcotic control programs in our ER and working with our patients to get them to the right place at the right time. What I've done that makes me most proud is being able to take a recipe that's been handed down in my family for over a hundred years and being able to create a successful company with it um, where we can employ myself, my brother, my sister-in-law, and my cousins. Success for me is the ability to provide for my family and good jobs for good people. I'm most passionate about food and wine, obviously. Uh, but I think the longer answer would be education, helping people discover and learn about their passion for food and wine, and spending time at the restaurant and, and uh, learning new things about food. My passion is service. That's what I do for a living. I'm a servant. I own a restaurant in Gig Harbor, and I get the opportunity to make people happy every day, to come in and celebrate life and do it over a good meal. So um, that is something I'm very passionate about. It's something I've become very good at, and I, I like making people feel warm, fuzzy, and feeling good. We at the Business Examiner Media Group congratulate all 40 of these honorees, 40 under 40, for our community. And we also want to thank our sponsors for the program, Mobility Media Design and its principal, Richard Aronson, for making production of it possible. Our special appreciation goes to Puget Sound Energy for its long-term sponsorship of South Sound Business Report. 
We'll be back again next week, same time and same channel with another episode and hope you'll join us then. The Olympia Farmer's Market. You can just taste the excitement. The best seafood, the freshest produce, organic meats and savory cheeses, the most delicious baked breads, the prettiest plants and flowers, and the finest handcrafted gifts from all over the South Sound. Listen to the great sounds at the covered Farmer's Market stage and picnic area. Meet old friends and enjoy the festive atmosphere you can only find at the Olympia Farmer's Market. Thursday through Sunday, 10 to 3, the Olympia Farmer's Market at the foot of Capitol Way in downtown Olympia. For more than 12 years, Providence St. Peter Hospital has been partnering with PSE's Energy Efficiency Program. As a result, in the past year, we've been able to save over $700,000 on our utility bill. What PSC is doing by investing in renewable energy and wind farms is really an investment in the future. We're in the community and on call for our customers, day or night. PSC is working hard to provide me and my family with dependable service.